Did my homemade shotgun fruiting chamber for mushrooms work out? Let's find out. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know the answer to this question, but let's take a peek inside and see what's happening, shall we? Now, I've waited a little long, so my mushrooms are starting to age and curl, but they were perfectly flat and beautiful when I took my weird through the tub Instagram picture. But there's that bunch, and there's that bunch. And then let's see if I can find a good spot for you to look at. Here, see the white fuzzy stuff in between the solid fuzzy stuff, like right here? That is indication of new mycelium growth, and that is what's going to turn into a new batch of mushrooms. So I have little bits of that on all of my blocks. So I'm pretty happy about that because that means they're going to continue to fruit for me. All right, so I'm also going to show you this, and we see that we're at 99% humidity and 79 degrees Fahrenheit. So I will admit that I got a little irritated, and at first I was very particular. So initially, once I got this all set up, I watched this like a hawk. I had my little squirt bottle to miss the perlite if it even went a scooch down 99%, which was completely unnecessary. I would fan it with the lid multiple times a day. I was mama mushroom 110% and I didn't see much happening. So I got discouraged. I got lazy and I got forgetful and I ignored them. And then one day I looked in there and there were full grown mushrooms. So it really does a great job of retaining a constant humidity level. So I am super impressed about that. I thought with all of the holes that it would dry out pretty quickly, but it didn't. And I think part of that is because I didn't do the holes in the bottom. So the very bottom layer may had a little excess moisture. I did have concerns that I thought the reasons why the other people had the build with the holes in the bottom is to limit unwanted fungi growth, AKA mold growth, but I don't see any evidence of that in here and I got the right type of mushrooms growing. So I think that this environment is actually working out perfectly and I'm really happy with it. I'm pretty excited to have fresh mushrooms available for us to cook with on a regular basis. Now I have been doing further research on new varieties of mushrooms, how to make my own mushroom growing bags that I can then put into my fruiting chamber. Plus I found a new thing about how to reuse the ends of store-bought mushrooms to make your own mushrooms. So I'm going to experiment with that as well and if that works out for me you bet there's going to be a video on that on this channel. I hope you've enjoyed this. Look up! There's another video you might like equally as well. Thanks for watching.